by you, wherever you are. I don't know whether you have ever asked yourself following questions as you hustle about life. Have you ever asked yourself, how come things are, come so easy to some people or to my friends and not me? How come things come so easy to my friends but not me? Or why is it so that life is so difficult for me but so easy to others? That is, what mistakes did I make or did I do which makes it so difficult for me to live or in life? Or why do, why do I lead so much a defeated life while my friends are enjoying their life? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Or why are so many people so blessed eh? and have everything that they need or they want in life? while the others like me just have to live through the difficult life in pain to get the, the pain, the end, end pain of the road every day. Have you ever asked yourself why, why, why God, why me? My provoking soul searching question to you is this. Could the problem be caused by the lack of rites of passage, blessings that you missed as you grew up? Right of passage. The term here is right. R-I-T-E. Right of passage. Could it be because of lack of rites of passage, blessings that you missed? What is the right of passage? This question leads to us to the next topic today entitled The Importance of Rights of Passage in Your Life. My name is Robinson Mokua, the Director uh, Vision Career of Maono Prayer Center. What is a right of passage? Some of you know, some of you don't know, some of you know and downplay the effect in your life or they don't know how to go about it. But then what is the right of passage? The right of passage is a series of symbolic spiritual ceremonies. The right of passage is a series of symbolic spiritual ceremonies or rituals perform, performed on you to purposely, listen, to purposely transition you from one social or spiritual status to another, thereby marking a major milestone of social change in your life. It is like an exam you are being given to usher you to a next phase of life. You have to undergo what we call a rite of passage, transit you to a ne next uh, phase of life with blessings. There are some ceremonial uh, uh, blessings that you go up, you have to go through to go to the next stage. You don't have to pass a detour or promote yourself. You have to be promoted either for your parents or the community with blessings of God invoked on you. Now, the right of passage is a major source of blessings in your life. Even a very simple experience of right of passage performed on you can have a powerful, powerful impact of blessings or fortunes in your life. It's not easy. It's not small. The right of passage, therefore, provide you with a sense of personal renewal or belonging to the community. Uh, prayers of rite of passage are very important, my friends. The, prayer, the prayers which are said during the rite of passage ceremony are very, very important to your life. Why? Because, number one, 
they transition you to another stage. Number two, they protect you while you are in that next stage or next phase of life, prayers of rite of passage. Now, we have about five major types of rites of passage whose blessings build on one another until you die. These rites of passage differ from culture to culture. Yeah, they, 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 no community does it the same. They can do it differently, but the same, the rite of passage is the same. But the way they do it, the procedure is different. The age at which they do it is different. But all in all, we have what, five different rites of passages. You have to go through all those five. Number one, the first rite of passage in your life is the path rite of passage. The path rite of passage. When you are born, there has to be some ceremonial blessings that are said over you. So the first ceremonial blessings you get is during baby dedication, once you have been born. Please refer to Maono Prayer Center video on baby dedication to learn more why and how this baby dedication is done. Could there be any chance that you perhaps missed this kind of blessing? at your early stage in life, would there be any chance that you may be, perhaps, miss this kind of ceremonial blessing? In, in the Greek, they call it ekegen kyo muana. Translation, baby dedication ceremony. You have, this has been done to you. Uh, well, food is eaten and some special blessings. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And brought into you. Please ask your parents, therefore, because there is a special blessing attached to this. If, you, if I thought you missed it, ask your parents whether they, they, they did that ceremony to you. Yeah? Baby dedication ceremony. So as to get that, that blessings you, you get. Number two, second rite of passage. This is called initiation rite of passage. Initiation rite of passage. Now, initiation rite of passage, brothers and sisters, is a transition from childhood to adulthood. You, you don't remain a child forever. You can do things, childish things when, at this age, but when you are of age, there is a ceremony which is done unto you. You have to go through and then be, be blessed accordingly so as to usher you in the next stage of life. This initiation rite of passage, brothers and sisters, is in twofold. Some have gotten one, some have gotten two of them. If you have got two, then thank God for you. Now, the first rite of passage of initiation is called spiritual path. Initiation of spirit, which is called salvation. Salvation is a spiritual transition from a spiritually dead man to a spiritual man. Why? This is because every child including you, is born physically alive, but spiritually dead until you are born again. Therefore, uh, to be alive spiritually, you must experience a second birth. Jesus him, himself called it being born again. You must be born again. You must transit from that spiritual dead body to a spiritual uh, man or woman. Be complete. 
Remember, uh, one, one time Nicodemus went to Jesus at night, asking him questions. You can go and refer John chapter 3. And you can, you can remember what Jesus told him. Unless you are born again, unless you are born twice, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Let me ask you a question. Are you born again and baptized? Or you are spiritually dead? Still, there is a blessing, my brother, my sister, attached to this kind of uh, rite of passage. I, are you missing some blessings simply because you are not born again, still spiritually dead? There is no shortcut. This one is critical. Unlike all other um, rites of passage, this one is critical. You cannot go to a to heaven without passing through this. Mm -mm. Okay, and there's another another way of uh, initiation, uh, which is traditional circumcision. Initiation of the body. Initiation of the body. That one was the initiation of the spirit. Salvation, whereby the whole spirit comes into your life. But this one is a traditional circumcision, yeah? initiating the body to enable you go to the next stage, to be, to be called a, a mature person, you know? What is circumcision? Circumcision is a transition from childhood to maturity or an adulthood to maturity, where you lose some sections of your body, uh, like... Uh, most common known as gentle, gentle organs. Others remove the teeth. Some others do perform some kind of ceremony just to usher you from that kiddish life to a grown up. Now you, can, you are able to do what a, a mature person, an adult can do. However, this depends from culture to culture. You know, some do it in different ways. There is a blessing which is attached to this transitional ceremony, my friends. This transition, whether it is done in a modern way or not, there, is, there must be a ceremony where you are prayed for before you get the new status. I remember... Uh, when I went through this initiation ceremony, this is my parents spat on me. You know, when somebody, when a parent spits on you and uttering post words about you, that's a blessing. So I went through this initiation that time. If in your culture there is no transitional ceremony which moves you from one childhood to the adulthood, then Go for salvation. That will finish everything all. Anything will, will supersede all these other initiations. But you have to be initiated for what you are on. To be a, a man now who is capable of doing uh, business, capable of, of, of dealing uh, with other people, men or women who are mature. Let me ask you a question. Are you circumcised according to your culture? This is a rite of passage. My dear brother, my dear sister, you cannot, it's not good to, to avoid if it is still on. Are you now grown up and you, you learn that you bypassed this important rite of passage and promoted yourself yeah, without the blessings which you go with it? kind of promoters you bypass. This is the right of passage, initiation, uh -huh. circumcision. You bypass like this, and then you, you think you became a man without passing through here. Or you pass through here, and you bypass this salvation, 
which transforms, which transforms you from a spiritually dead person to a spiritual man. And you bypass this path. You come here and you think you are good to go. You are not. That's maybe the reason why. Maybe. I say maybe. The reason why. When you get married and when things go hey, wire, what that's why men are wondering, where did the, the women go? Because we are having, we are marrying females masquerading as women these days. I mean, there are a lot of females masquerading as women in the market today, getting married. Vice versa, if I, on the flip side, there are a lot of males, a lot of them, in the market today, out there, everywhere, all over the place, masquerading as men, but they're males. And the women, the wives are wondering what became of men. Where did the men go? Because the men are not there. The males, they didn't go through this. They bypassed it. They promoted themselves to be men. And they're not men. They're males. They can give birth, but they cannot perform the functions men are supposed to. They cannot take responsibility. The same way to women, they bypass it here. They never get initiated through traditional ways, circumcision, if there is any, or no salvation, no nothing. They bypass this salvation and they come here and they're still spiritually dead. Now, we men are wondering, what happened to women? What happened to women? There are a lot of males, females around. Females who cannot know how to, to, to submit to their husbands. Females who don't know when to cook for their family. Yeah? Women, I mean, females who think they're of equal status in the family pecking order with the husband. Where did the women go? That's why these initiation ceremonies, my friends, this rite of passage were put there by God to make you become whole, become of age. You can't go to the next stage unless they value you and say, you are ready for that. Or you are not ready. One more year, you are put behind. It's like, like in class. You can't go to Form 1 if you have not passed the CPE exams. You have, to, you have to be of age. So are you struggling in your marriage? Could it be because of these other blessings you have mentioned about? Maybe baby dedication, you are not blessed. There was no ceremony done. Initiations, you know, no, 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 no ceremony. Number three, maturity, rite of passage. There is a passage, my friends, which is supposed to usher you from adulthood to maturity. This is a ceremony which ushers you from the youth to adulthood. This is now the time when you think you are now free, you can do anything. You can marry, you can, now you start making uh, your own decisions. That's when you are past 18 years, this is when this ceremony is supposed to be done to you. It is a ceremony which ushers you from the youth to adulthood, to maturity. This type of rite of passage is referred to as parental blessing ceremony. In another way, it's called Isaac blessing ceremony. Now, what is Isaac blessing? It's the wave of God, good wishes, spoken into your life by your father, or in the absence of your father, those who have parental authority over you, over your life, when you attain maturity stage. But now you are a man, you are a woman, capable of doing your own things, making your own decisions. You need these blessings. Otherwise, you can burn your fingers. Now, details of this procedure, how this is done and where and when and what, what you have to what, what, what does it take you to receive these kind of blessings? The procedure 
is extensively explained in a video entitled Parental Blessings under Maono Prayer Center YouTube channel. Uh, let me provoke you a little bit. Did you leave home unceremoniously and go on, 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 on and got into business or you went to college? You went, you left home and now you start doing your own things, started making your own decisions. Did you leave home unceremoniously without being released by your parents officially? Did you? Could you be hustling and struggling in life because of lack of parental blessings on your life? These blessings, my friends, are the oil, the grease of your life. So before you start making independent life, altering decisions like entering into business, like hitting the ground, looking for a spouse, looking for a job, please claim these blessings for you that necessary. Otherwise, you you lose hustle in life. So please go back and claim them and necessary. The fourth one, rite of passage. The next one is called marriage rite of passage. Marriage rite of passage. What is a marriage rite of passage? This is where one transits from being single to maturity by getting married. This is when a man transits from being single to maturity by getting married to a person of the opposite sex. If it is a woman, you get married to a man. If it is a man, you get married to a woman. It transits you, it moves you from singlehood into that stage where you are, become a responsible person. There are three types of marriage transitions in this one. You can transit by going through civil marriage ceremony. You can transit by going through traditional marriage ceremony. Or you can transit by going through a religious marriage ceremony. The choice is yours. You just go where you think the blessings. But don't bypass this marriage ceremony, please. You will get a burnout in that next stage, which is critical. Now, if you opt to go to a civil route, then your marriage is in accordance in accordance with the law rather than the faith or religion or beliefs. You don't have to believe in anything to get married through civil. You don't have to be a Christian. You don't have to be, no. You just go to the course, court clerk, and then you get married. Most of the time it is presided by a legal officer or a court clerk or a mayor or rather than a religious leader. You get, then you get that rite of passage. Transits you from being single to adulthood. Number two, you can opt to follow the religious roots. Uh, the religious weddings ceremony is done. In the, in the church, in the, your place of worship, where you are united with your spouse by licensed religious leaders. Licensed or not, but so long as they have prayed for you, eh, they have blessed you, it is okay. You have gone through that phase. The last one, you can also opt to follow a traditional route or route to do traditional wedding ceremony. Yeah, this is a conventional wedding uh, uh, where couples transit from being a girl into someone's wife, or where a boy, uh, 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 a man transits himself from being a man, an ordinary man, a single person, to be somebody's husband. And there is a certificate you are given that you are no more a boy or a man who used to do things he used to do at will. You are now become a man of responsibility who is now in a new uh, stage of life. 
Listen and listen to me attentively. Your marriage must have uh, one of the three rites of passage mentioned above. Traditional way, religious way, or traditional way. Otherwise, your rite of passage or transition is considered null and void. And therefore, no blessings. If you don't want to go through these three, you bypass and then you come here, then you have gone into marriage life without any blessings of your parents. Please let not your parents come home and find you are not there. You have eloped to want to stay with a man wherever you want to go. Or let not your parents come home and find a woman in your house. They don't know who it is. Then within a month or two, that's when they realize, oh, this could be a wife. No formal blessings, no nothing. Then you call yourself married without any blessings. Man is not a problem. The wife is not a problem. You are the problem. You bypassed, took a detour, a shortcut, promoted yourself into marriagehood. Yeah? without being blessed. Let me ask you a question. Did you go into marriage by passing through Panya roots? Panya roots means, in another language, it is an authorized path, an authorized route. Did you go into marriage by passing through Panya roots without involving your parents? Did you? Are you making babies now and you never pass any of these three? Ceremony of blessings, it is you and your man, you know. Nobody put a hand on you, hand of blessing. No invoking of any blessing upon you. And it is a difficult stage in any human being, marriage life, difficult. And you dare bypass the initiation, the, the, the rite of passage. You don't want blessings. Could you be struggling in marriage now because lack of this recommended marital rights of passage? Could you? There is a blessing, my dear brother, my dear sister. There is a, plus, a blessing attached to this. Please call for it. Like yesterday. It's never too late to claim it. Now, the last one, right of passage, you don't have any control of, just like that one of but baby dedication, you didn't have any control on it. It's called mortality, rite of passage. Mortality, rite of passage. Or in another, in another word, death, rite of passage. Barrio, also known as a funeral ceremony, is a method of final deposition whereby your dead body is buried. There is usually a ceremony that. After you have been, after death, there is a funeral ceremony performed, a ritual formed unto you, a religious ritual. It is therefore a transition from your physical body to the spiritual body, and from your physical world to the spiritual world. That kind of ceremony is when you are not even looking, you are dead. I don't want to dwell on that. But it is a rite of passage transiting you to the spiritual world from the physical world. It comes anytime. That's what no age. Now that you have gotten the, the, the five types of rite of passage, you have got the baby dedication, you have got the initiation, you have got the parental blessings, you have got the marital blessings. Those are the rite of passage which you should not bypass if you want blessings in your life. Let me ask you a question. Are you complaining maybe of misfortunes in your life? Are you complaining of misfortunes in your life? Please do not be quick to point an accusing finger from places. It is not your neighbor. It is not your past relationship. Uh, it's, it's not about a bad economy. It is not because of unemployment. Why? Because many people are getting employed. 
So that which you are not getting, other people are getting. So don't blame the, the economy. Don't blame your friends. Don't blame your boss. Don't blame your friends that they are backbiting you, stabbing you on the back. So don't say, I'm, I'm not getting a job because I'm black, I'm yellow, because I'm white, I'm being discriminated. Mm -mm. You go down the memory lane and see whether you took a detour and avoided this path, which is the rite of passage, where you should have passed so as to get your blessings. Now you came here, promoted yourself, right? leading a dry, dry life without any blessings from your parents and by extension, any blessings from God. And now here you are blessing, blaming people for your misfortunes. <laughs> and you know what? Rites of passage could be a source of your problems. Rites of passage could be either a source of your problems or a source of your blessings. Therefore, before you point an accusing finger to people around you, go down the memory lane and see whether there is any panyarus <laughs> you passed through. Please, this is a serious message. This message was brought to you uh, courtesy of Maono Prayer Center YouTube channel, where you can get so searching and life-changing teachings which you need in life. Let me ask you a final question now. Do you need such enlightening and life-changing messages going forward? If the answer is yes, then please do the following. You, you like, you share, you subscribe, and dismantle that notification bell in front of you so that you get alerted when the next upload is made. God bless you. Shalom.